Hi there, this is Michael from Corion, I'm Managing Director responsible in our company for the product management, software development side of things. Uh, welcome to another tutorial session. Um, I'd like to give you a little introduction into a tiny extension we've developed for the Chromium engine-based browsers. Um, this is an additional widget uh, that works together with our multilingual knowledge system solution and it helps you to look up knowledge while working on your documents. Let's have a look at the browser, how this feels. Let me switch over there. So let's assume you're working on a document, on a technical document, here from the Max Planck Gesellschaft about uh, coronavirus uh, topics and we see terms, some familiar, some not so familiar terms like face mask, transmission, infection, etc. So now you'd, you come across such a term and you'd like to quickly look up that information, another translation for the term or so in your multilingual knowledge system. What would you do today? You would switch to another tab, open Corion in the browser, look up the information there, go back to your document. And you would switch uh, from here to there and back and forward and backward, etc., etc. This works, but it's a bit cumbersome, not very comfortable. So what did we do uh, to develop a little extension to the Chrome browser? Um, so a little lookup widget. So we will find the extension like any other extension to the browsers in the extensions uh, menu. And here it is listed and I pin it to the toolbar so that I have that extension always available. And now when I click uh, that little icon here, um, I can run a query dialect directly in the repository. So for instance, I could run a query for face mask and we are searching a so-called Corona rep repository that has been developed, created and maintained by the German Ministry of Defense, Bundessprachenamt, developed in the recent years about the coronavirus. And when I run the query, I obviously get the hits in English, terms in English, and German has been pre-selected uh, which gives me kind of translations for what a face mask is in German language, which is something like Gesichtsmaske or Mundschutz. Um, I could also click one of these records here, so to, uh, maybe to see more about this. And indeed, uh, the record behind medical face mask also contains a definition and with all the explanation what this is. Ah, and that's basically about the extension, how it works, how it behaves. So pretty straightforward, easy to use. You, you may now have two questions about this. So on the one hand, how can I configure this a bit? Um, I'm not using it in English language. I'd like to use it in French or Spanish language. And can I select another repository? And as with all extensions for the Chrome browser, also our extension comes with an options page. So when I select this and I'm going uh, to the options page, I see all the repositories I currently have access to. Um, and for instance, currently this repository was selected, but I could click on that repository using the Eurovoc thesaurus, um, selecting my languages, one uh, a source and optionally a target language. I'd also like to immediately get a preview, for instance, on the definition of uh, concepts that are being found. And when I now run the search, um, so let's go back to the document and I run the search. Now it says search Eurovoc for concepts and terms and I search for instance for nurse uh, and click the search button. And now we are looking up uh, the records in uh, Eurovoc and here we see for instance English to French is now my language direction. And we see uh, quite some found terms. Um, and also here, for instance, the second one was nursery, day nursery. When I expand that card here, we see that there are way more terms even in that uh, concept, many, many synonyms. So for instance, for English, we found nursery or day nursery, but I also have terms like childcare, which seems to be the, the preferred term, babysitting, crash, kindergarten even uh, in the records. And I'd now like to know even more about this and then I can click the concept card title here. So I'm clicking now childcare and that now finally really opens up a new uh, tab in the browser, brings me into the Eurovoc repository, uh, trying to locate exactly the concept, all the terms around 
uh, childcare and here I see all the extensive and very rich information about that concept childcare with not only English French languages but in all the languages that are being uh, captured um, in that concept. So, so far uh, a bit about how the extension works. Um, one little final note um, on the uh, on the widget itself. We've developed it for the for the Chrome browser, but in fact it works with all the Chromium engine based browsers. And we've done some tests with the Microsoft Edge browser, which is also using the Chromium engine. And uh, the results uh, confirm that it works smoothly although in a Microsoft Edge working environment. So what does the extension help you to do? It helps you to look up multilingual knowledge while working on your document, so in parallel. Let me summarize this little session. Uh, you've learned what the extension does, um, how you use it, how you configure it. And before I say bye-bye, just a, a couple of uh, pointers uh, and links where you can reach us. Uh, contact me via email, read, follow us on Twitter with the two accounts listed here. Have a look at our blog where we um, post a lot of information about the benefits and the impact of managing multilingual knowledge. And you're certainly kindly invited to join us and follow our newsletters on www.corian.com news. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure again um, and enjoy the day. Ciao, ciao.